Hey everybody, this is Scott. This is actually day number five of the 30-day challenge that I issued to Andrew P. Smith and Gregory Root. Today's a little bit different. Uh, if you do a little bit of Googling on my name, you'll actually find that I'm a top contributor for the Nexus brand with Google. I love Google. I love Android. I love Nexus. So I'm actually doing this recording on a, a Pixel C. It's fabulous. Hopefully you like it. Thumbs up if you actually do like it. Uh, but in our forums, and we do support lots of different customers, we actually uh, give tips and tricks to basically try to make your Android and Nexus devices sing. And some of the most common things that we find um, are folks that are looking to say, like, I have this application that is causing me all kinds of trouble. Uh, can you go ahead and help me help us out here? So uh, two of the most common things that we actually see is clearing the cache of the device and actually, if there's still problems from that, you actually will can uh, you can boot into safe mode to see if you disable that application if your device starts to function properly. So I'm going to show you both. Um, if we go into our settings menu, you can actually see I'm within the settings. Looks pretty familiar across all Android platforms, but um, we're going to go clear the cache of the device by going to the storage and USB right here. Uh, and you can actually see apps, images, everything that's taking up space on that particular device. And you can see at the bottom, I have uh, 1.89 gigs of cache data. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. Uh, do I want to clear it? Yes. So common misconception, this is not deleting your data. It is just clearing cache data that you have. It's not going to delete pictures. It's not going to delete photos or videos or anything like that. Uh, it is simply just kind of clearing out a little bit of the junk uh, that some of those apps store inside of their own uh, own bits and pieces, so to speak. But for whatever reason, let's say that that doesn't work and you're saying, hey, I tried that already. That doesn't work. I need to do something a little bit more drastic. We don't want to go to the factory data reset yet, which I'll actually make in another video. Uh, but if we say this isn't working, what I'm going to recommend is you actually go ahead and press your power button, hold it down, and you're going to see your power off come up. Now we're going to boot into safe mode. It's actually quite very, it's very simple, very easy. We're going to go ahead and long press on our power button. You're going to see reboot to safe mode. And just like it says, it's going to disable all third party applications. And in disabling those third party applications, only load what the device needs to function. Um, uh, I can't say nine times out of 10, but more often than not, this actually helps solve the problem that you have. Uh, the only downside to this is you actually have to try to go and find that third party app that is causing you trouble. Um, that can get a bit tedious, but as soon as you do that, and as you see, some of my friends from that same 30 day challenge just uploaded some of their stuff. So I'll probably link that in the description below as well. Uh, kind of lost my train of thought, so I have to really thank them for that. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Um, if you want more information on the Google Top Contributor Program or would you'd like to visit us at the Nexus Forum, I will also put that in the description below. Again, this is day number five. Uh, this is a little bit different for me. I was trying to multitask, not just look at the camera and actually just talk at you, but also do something as well. I'll get a little bit better. Each day is getting just a bit better as we go on. So like I said, like, share, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.